We're just south of a ranch in Aravaca at the southern border wall, and one of the rancher's main complaints is that the wall has holes in it. We've had this ranch for since 1991, and I'm a fifth generation Arizona rancher. Uh, my ancestors drove cattle from Texas to Arizona in 1885 and our family's been ranching ever since. In the past 15 years, though, things have been changing. A sign cautioning that smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered at the ranch. Chilton drives the southern part of his ranch about once a week. Some is covered with border fencing, other portions remain open. Chilton has spent thousands of dollars of his own money trying to reinforce what are called Normandy barriers installed by Homeland Security. And I came in at my expense and I welded this rebar onto it to try and keep cattle out. The problem is, is the cartels took the rebar and bent it this way, and so uh, people could easily come in and cattle could come in, and my cattle could go to Mexico. And people have come in. On our visit with Chilton, we encountered about two dozen migrants walking along the wall, hoping to be apprehended by Border Patrol. The cartel dumps them off right up here, and they walk around and then down west towards Sasabe. It's about, I think, 32 kilometers from here to Sasabe. Signs letting travelers know how far they have left to go before reaching Border Patrol in Sasabe. It's illegal to give the migrants a ride, so a wave is the best Chilton can offer. A camp is set up about a dozen miles from Sasabe, offering tents, supplies, and food to migrants. Migrants say Border Patrol apprehends a few a day, mostly women and children they can fit in their trucks. One woman from the camp asking us for a baby bottle. I feel very heartfelt about the people who the cartel dumps off here and have 15, 25 miles to walk. We met people from Ecuador, Haiti, and India. Homeland Security data shows almost half of all migrants at the southwest border are from Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. Some say they're told Phoenix or Tucson is just a few miles away. These women and a child deciding to turn back to camp after realizing how long and dangerous the trip to Sazabee would be on a chilly night. At the wall, there are blankets, clothes, and water bottles left by nonprofits for migrants who may cross. Chilton himself has installed water fountains. I have 29 drinking fountains, 13 and a half miles of pipeline, and I put drinking fountains so that people can get water if they need to. A few hundred feet from the border, a red cross marks the spot where a migrant woman was found dead. I think there are probably 35 people have died on the ranch, mainly of thirst. And so uh, it's, it's really horrible to have people die on your ranch. We, we do anything possible to keep them from dying. Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.